What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ray, and I'm back with another gang, 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 gang. So today, gang, we are about to go try the strawberry funnel cake frappuccino from Starbucks. I know a lot of people been saying they don't see commercials from Starbucks. I don't know what type of TV y'all watching. You're probably streaming too much, but I've seen these uh, frappuccinos everywhere, every single day. Every single day I see a commercial from Starbucks promoting these Frappuccino drinks. So we're about to go ahead and do that today. Make sure you guys stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. If you have not already, make sure you go ahead and comment, like, share, and what? Subscribe. So if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but we going up. All right, we going up. Hey, we going up. Hey, we going up. Hey, we going up. Uh, yes. Can I get the, do you all have the, I think it's the funnel cake frappuccino? Yes, ma'am. Can I get that in a tall, please? Yeah, what else for you? Um, is it two types of ways that you make it, like with the coffee, coffee and without? Yes, ma'am, if you want it with or without. Can I, can I get one of each? Yeah, you want both tall? Yes, ma'am. 1333. You guys, I am about to try the new strawberry funnel cake frappuccino one came with coffee the other came without i'm actually here at like 6 30 they closed at 7 so uh the line wasn't that long praise god you know praise god i'm about to get this drink and i'm gonna tell y'all a story time a quick story time i don't even know which one this one is girl you ain't told me nothing all right y'all so i finally got my order there go the light there it go there you go, baby. Yes. Quick story time. And the only reason I'm giving it to you right now is because I literally just came out of the gym and it made me so uncomfortable that I had to actually have to leave the gym because I felt so uncomfortable. So I've been going to the gym, but before I was actually going to the gym very, very, very faithfully. I would go to the gym just about every day that I got off work, except for like a couple of rest days, right? I noticed that when I had stopped and started one time and I started going in the mornings at like five, I think I would get up at like five o'clock in the morning, get there around like 5.45 or something like that. But no, about 5.30. Cause it didn't take me long I, I would get there about 5 30 or so so i would get there and it was this guy this this random creepy guy that would be there right and so i was like oh okay you know you was you you're used to seeing people at the gym like if you go to the gym a lot you're used to seeing certain people at the gym right cool so i kept coming around the same time and i kept seeing the creepy dude at the same time so i was like all right well you know what's going on what's going on you know i'm thinking plus like the gym at this time it's like it's dark at 5 30 when i get to the gym number one number two is always some random stuff going on at the gym like people sitting in their cars at 5 30 in the morning not doing anything uh people walking around over there and i'm just like y'all trying to kidnap me i mean I'm black, but I'm out in the open. Leave me alone. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what's what was gonna happen. So I switched up my schedule. One morning I could not wake up. So guess what I did? I went when I got off work. Guess who I saw when I got off work? That same creepy guy. Come on, come on, Shirley Sue. I forgot where I left off in the story, but anyway. So the guy was so creepy. And I was like. I saw this guy again, so I, I was like, okay, nonchalantly and naively, I was like, oh, okay. Maybe he just, you know what I'm saying, you know, coming at a different time. But it really got weird was one morning, I went to the gym at about 5.30 and um, I left. And when I left, I seen the same guy sitting in the parking lot with no license plate. Like the same direction I would like go home to change clothes or whatnot. And I was like, okay yeah that's weird and i'm talking about if so, for some reason and this is just spontaneous like if i kept a regular schedule like that creepy guy would be coming in on that regular schedule if i switched that schedule it's like he would he, i would, wouldn't see him for like a couple of like maybe a week or a few days but then once he caught onto my schedule it's like he started coming to the gym at the same time i would be there and i was like all right so Moral of the story is, watch your surroundings. I don't know who the creepy guy is, but creepy guy, if you watch these videos, just know I got a picture of you. I got your license tag that you tried to take off because I took a picture today when I got out of the gym. Boop. 
Don't try me, boo. Try Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> So y'all, I got these Frappuccinos. This one right here, I don't know if you guys can see that color, but this is the one that has the coffee in there. That looks real, real good. And then this is the one without the coffee. This is just a Frappuccino. Now, I'm, I'm not really a fan of Frappuccinos, and I don't know why, because it's just ice blended up real, real well. Don't know. But I'm also not a fan of all the toppings that people be putting on funnel cakes. Just get you a funnel cake with some little powdered sugar, baby, and move on. People be like, funnel cake, strawberries, whipped cream, syrup, powdered sugar. First of all, baby, it sound like diabetes in a funnel cake. I ain't trying to do all that. Is that my friend? Nah, that ain't my friend. Girl, don't be looking up your glasses at me. Let's try the one without the coffee first. And they got some crumbles. Let me see if y'all can see the crumbles. Y'all see those crumbles? Hopefully that makes it really, really good. Let's try it. Come on. That don't taste like no funnel cake. Let me let me just stir it all up first. Cause the one without no coffee is butt. What is that? Starbucks, that ain't it. That one ain't anyway. So let me try the one. I'm about to stir it up some cause whatever I got at the bottom, baby, almost sent me to see Jesus. Comment below y'all if y'all like to have all those toppings on there. Like if you, like with pancakes and stuff. Like I see people be like, give me pancakes with whipped cream and strawberries. <sighs> Girl, it's breakfast. Comment below if you like it. There ain't no judgment there. I'm not judging you. Silently judging you, maybe. But let me see what this tastes like with coffee. What am I chewing on, coconut? Did y'all put coconut in this Starbucks? I don't know y'all. I keep, <laughs> I keep drinking it thinking that it's gonna taste different, but it don't. Jesus! Okay, all right, all right. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was a waste of $13. All I'm gonna say is, if you like that, I'm, I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you. It ain't my cup of tea. Y'all might like it. It just don't taste like no funnel cake. I don't know what it tastes like. Like that really put a bad taste in my mouth. I should've brought some water. That's what I gotta remind myself, to bring me some water anytime I'm trying this ridiculous thing. Starbucks, sponsor me. I promise you, you won't regret it. I tell everybody. Everybody who claimed they don't see them commercials, I tell them about your commercials. You know I keep drinking that. Y'all comment below if you tried these and how you've actually tried these with the coffee or without the coffee and if you actually like it. But for me, it's just a no. First of all, it don't taste like a funnel cake. Number two, it don't taste like a funnel cake. Number three, it don't taste like a funnel cake. Starbucks, what are you doing? I don't know what this was. It was not a funnel cake to me. But comment below as well if you guys have liked it when you tried it. Also comment below if y'all like the like loaded funnel cakes. Me, I'm plain Jane. I don't like the taste. All I don't like the mixed textures. Why Why are we eating funnel cakes with strawberries? I just, that's not romantic to me. That's not sexy to me. That's not good to me. Anyways, if you guys have not, make sure you go ahead and comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna thank you guys every single video because thank you. Cause I'm, I just wanna say thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you guys for viewing my videos. Thank you guys for sharing my videos. Thank you guys if you've come in from other people. Okay, okay, let me say this, let me say this, because I was excited. Today is Friday, so when y'all see this, it may be a Monday or a Thursday. I don't really know. But I did a question and answer, right? I did a question and answer like a week and a half ago. So I did the, um, the question and answer, and in that question and answer, I said that someone had asked me, who I, do I want to collab with some other YouTubers? And if so, who are they? And one of the people who I said I wanted to collab with was Bink So Famous. It's in a clip. I can roll some of the clip right here if you haven't seen it. Bink So Famous. I feel like me and her have a lot of in common as well. That clip, I said I wanted to collab with Bink So Famous. That was on the Monday, okay? I was, I was sick literally that whole week. That video I made with me saying I wanted to collaborate with Bink So Famous and the McDonald's and whatever, I was sick, sick as a dog. Don't know what was wrong, but I was sick. 
I do know it was not the C word though. That whole week I was basically off trying to rest, trying to get back together. So the next week, which is this week, which I'm recording this video, um, today actually, I was just like, you know, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling, 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 scrolling. And I was like, huh, I was like, what's going on? You know, I you can see people who go live and I follow a lot of like big YouTubers. So I was just scrolling, I was like, oh, being so famous just went live on Instagram. So I clicked it. And y'all, she was just like on there just like vibing and chilling, right? She was actually letting people get in on her live and I didn't know that. So I clicked the little thing. Like, that, no, that was get on there asking questions, right? And I was like, man, I don't know if I should get on there asking questions. Plus I was like, I was kind of busy. I ain't gonna say what I was doing. <laughs> you know? Anyway, so I stepped out, like I had clicked the thing, man. And she was just dropping gems. And from that, just for me going live, I think I gained like six or seven subscribers just from that. And not only that, I think I gained like some followers on Instagram as well. Uh, the manifestation is real. Just from that 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 quick little snippet that she did inbox me back. I had she told me to send her inbox. She did inbox me back, y'all. So that right there, that just little snippet was just a blessing in all itself. So I was, I've been hype all day. That's the only reason I decided to do a, a video on Friday. Normally I do my videos on Saturday and Sunday, but I've been hype all day. So I was like, I gotta roll with this energy. I gotta get on this. So being so famous, thank you so much. A lot of other big YouTubers do not take the time. They don't even give you the time of day. You know what I'm saying? So I just say, appreciate you. And I hope in the future we can actually collab. All right? All right. All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification over there at the top, because why? I'm dropping babies every single week. Until next time, peace.